In this video, we'll show you the different ways you can open and close a tray, and explore the different order types available for your use. There are several ways you can open a tray. The most direct way is to click on the New Order button located on the toolbar to launch the order ticket. Note that on the first launch, you'll be prompted to allow one-click trading. Click on Cancel for now. Within the order ticket screen, there are many options for the user. You can choose the order type either Exchange, which is a market order, or choose Pending Order. Let's choose Exchange Order Type for now. After which, you can choose the volume which is the quantity you wish to trade. 0 0.1 equates to 10,000, while 1.0 represents 100,000. Once done, you can either click on Buy or Sell to perform either of those tasks. A confirmation prompt will appear to show that your trade has been executed. Another way is to open the order ticket via the Market Watch panel. Select a currency symbol on the Market Watch panel and right click followed by New Order. This will launch the order ticket. This time, we'll choose Pending Order in the Order Type drop down. Following that, you can either choose to place a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop or sell stop, or buy or sell stop limit. This time, we'll choose to place a sell limit. After which, you can enter the desired price, stop loss, and or target profit levels. Once done, the platform will display a confirmation prompt that our limit order has been successfully placed. Alternatively, you can also place a trade via the one-click panel. You can launch the panel by right-clicking on the chart and select one-click trading. For the more advanced users, you can also place orders through the use of market depth. Right-click on the chart window and select Depth of Market. This will launch the Depth of Market panel, where you can set a default stop loss, trade volume, and target profit for your orders. All of your trades can be seen in the terminal panel. Above the grey bar are your executed trades, while below are working or pending orders. After placing your trade, you can still modify it to add a stop or target profit to an executed deal or to change the price for any pending orders. To do so, right-click on the desired trade in the terminal panel, select Modify, and proceed to enter your desired levels. You can set your desired levels either by price or by points. Alternatively, you can place or adjust your stop and target profits graphically via the chart window by dragging on the dotted lines. To close out your trades, Locate the desired trade to close within the terminal panel. You'll see a cross towards the right side of the trade details. Click on the cross to bring up the order ticket panel. On the panel, you can click on the yellow bar at the bottom to close out the trade in its entirety, or select the volume or amount you wish to close. Alternatively, as you can hold both long and short positions simultaneously, you can offset them against each other when desired. To do so, Click on the cross on the trade you wish to close. Within the order ticket panel, choose Close By in the drop down list. You'll be prompted a list of trades available for you to close by. Select the desired trade and click on Close. A confirmation prompt will be shown once the action is successful. MT5 also offers a function called One Click Trading. This allows you to execute trading instructions via just a single click. To enable One Click Trading, click on Tools. Select Options. Then click on the Trade tab. Check One Click Trading, then click OK when prompted. One Click Trading works best with the One Click Trading panel. Right click on the chart and select One Click Trading to activate the panel. Now, with One Click Trading enabled, you can enter trades just by a single click, bypassing the order ticket. Closing out trades with One Click Trading enabled will close out the trades out at the market in its entirety. Our advice is to only enable one-click trading when you wish to use it and disable it afterwards to prevent any accidental trade entries. And with that, we'll come to the end of this video. In the next video, we'll show you how to insert indicators and analytical tools onto your charts through the MT5 desktop platform.